Today we are talking about my favorite makeup topic, which is eyeshadow palettes. These are the best palettes for February slash Valentine's Day, according to me. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. I love makeup. It's a whole lot of fun. And if you like eyeshadow palettes, check out the eyeshadow palette playlist because there are a lot of videos there. Now, obviously in February, you don't have to wear pinks, but there is a lot of pink and mauve in this. And for me, February is kind of where I start to get excited for spring after January, where I'm just kind of like, like, oh, over it. And February starts to get me excited for spring. So that's definitely where I am leaning with these palettes in addition to just Valentine's. But yeah, let us know what palettes you are gravitating towards right now and let's get started. Now, obviously you don't need all of these palettes, but maybe this will inspire you to look through your collection if you have some of these palettes or some similar color stories. First up, the Natasha Denona Mini Love. I couldn't do this video and not talk about this palette. It's beautiful and I really like it. And I like that it's more mauve. There is this pink shade, but it's not a super bright pink. It's more like a coral and it's just gorgeous. I love Natasha Denona. You guys know that. I talk about their eyeshadows all the time. Um, but the mini love, it's, it's really, really nice without being too pink. Okay, I pulled out two palettes from Dose of Colors, the Blushing Berries. And this one is lovely. Five matte shades, berry tones, but you also have a black and a very deep burgundy where you can really smoke it out. You can wear this palette on its own, or of course you can add a shimmer on the lid from either a single eyeshadow or from another palette. This is an old palette, but I still like this Dose of Colors formula. And so the other one I had to talk about is the Marvelous Mauves because I love mauve tones. I love mauve tones year round. Let's be serious. But this one is just, it's so pretty. These mattes blend so well. Um, don't really hear people talking about these Dose of Colors palettes anymore. I wonder if it's partly because they're not at Ulta anymore, which is disappointing, because I admit for me, I haven't really bought anything from Dose of Colors in a while, because I used to mostly buy their products at Ulta. And they're not there anymore, which is a bummer. But anyway, if you have the Marvelous Mauves, use it, it's lovely. Okay, I'm realizing that a lot of the palettes I picked have the word berries in the title. And so we've got the berries palette from Juvius. Now this one has two shimmers as well. And again, beautiful, beautiful tones. I particularly love this one right here. This metallic shade is so pretty. It's, oh my gosh, it's like one of the most beautiful metallic shades like in my whole collection. And this one, you've got the burgundy tones, you've got the pinks, but again, you have this bright pink, but other than that, it's not too like intense of a pink palette. Um, and then another one kind of along those lines is the Raspberry Kiss from Sydney Grace, which is stunning, absolutely gorgeous. This shade here is so pretty. It's definitely my favorite shade in the palette. It is a beautiful, like, purpley metallic. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Combining these two shimmers and then just like a matte mauve in the crease would actually be a really pretty look. So yeah, the Raspberry Kiss, so pretty. Love it. Okay, now I had to talk about the Full Size Love Palette because how can you not? Um, I do love this palette and I need to pull it out. Oh, what is this? There's like a chunk of an eyeshadow that fell out. It's okay though. It doesn't look damaged. Um, this is just a lovely palette. It's old. You've heard about it, but you've got red, pinks, mauves, purple. You've got it all. It's like the February palette. Very lovely. And it's very different from the mini love because like I said, that one is a lot more mauve toned. So they complement each other very well. If you love mauve tones, the Sigma New Mod is the palette for you. This is such a good palette. You've got mauves and purpley tones. I have hit pan on this shade, which is just a cream shade. It's not super exciting, but I really like the Sigma formula and this is a good one. This shade right here, since I'm doing some swatches, let's just swatch that one because it is so pretty. It's like a duochrome iridescent purple pink mauve it's it's so pretty definitely one of the best shades in this palette and yeah this is a good one okay another palette with berries in the name this is the beauty bay berries palette 
And again, kind of similar to the other Berries palettes, I would say this one has probably the most pink leaning because you have a very bright pink here. And even this one here is pretty pink, but you do have some deeper shades here. So that's something to consider with this palette. When you're talking berries, it's like, how pink do you want to go? How burgundy do you want to go? You know, you've got options, but this one I would say is definitely more pink leaning, whether, you know, you're into that or not. Then we have the Alter Ego Sakura palette, and this one is lovely. This is like quintessential spring palette for me. I just love the minty light greens in here and the pinky mauvey tones. It is so pretty. This is definitely like their version of the retro glam, but somehow I like their arrangement a lot better than the Natasha Denona palette, which I do have. And I tend to reach for this one more than that one. And I think it's because the arrangement is, it's more pleasing at least to my eye, but that one is super pretty. Um, the Red Dragon palette from Odin's Eye. I had to talk about this mostly because this red shade is so pretty. If you just want a one eyeshadow look and you want to like go red, this is the shade. This is so, so pretty. It is lovely. I love the Odin's Eye formula. Their metallics are really nice. They do have some kind of you know, peachy mauvey tones in this palette as well. And it's an amazing color story. I'm, I'm really into that one. Okay. If you like soft pinks, this is the palette for you. The ColourPop petals on point. Hopefully they still sell this. I don't even know, but if you have it, pull it out because this is just like a very pastel pink palette, but it has pigment. Um, it's not like super, super light. I think that it looks more pigmented than you would think just by kind of looking at it. And the shades are so pretty. Uh, this shimmer here is such a nice metallic pink. Ooh, that one is lovely. That is very, very pretty. So anyway, this one, taupey light pinks, very springtime, you know, I'm feeling it. Now, if you're more like wanting a vampy, like sexy Valentine's look, something like the wine and only might be the palette for you. Um, kind of some of the same vibes as those previous berries palettes, but going way more burgundy without that whole bright pink situation that personally, I'm not as into when I want this type of look. If I'm going for a brighter pink look, it's going to be something lighter like what I'm wearing today. So for me, when I want the burgundy tones, I don't want the bright pinks. Um, so personally, I like this one more than the other berry themed palettes I mentioned. Um, this one is just, it's just beautiful burgundy tones. What more can I say? And it's wine themed. So, you know, how can you go wrong? I'm pretty sure the names are definitely, yes, they are definitely wine themed. Oh, they're so hard to read. Um, yeah, Mon Cherry, Vinter, Mull It Over, Major Chianti, Play to Wine. I don't know. I think it's cute. I like the theme. I love red wine also, but trying to drink less of it. Anyway, moving on. That's not what this video is about. Uh, the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties. Again, this is one where if you want the smoky look, check this out or pull something similar out of your collection because this is vampy mauve tones and it is beautiful. This shimmer right here is so nice. Even though Melt Cosmetics are more known for their mattes. I do think that the shimmers in this palette, I put way too much on and, but look at that. That is such a pretty shade. And this palette is currently in my project level up. So been loving it. Okay, let's talk about the palette that I'm wearing today. This is a new one. This is from ColourPop. This one I did get in PR. I'm wearing it today. It is so pretty, the Lost in Love, oh my gosh. This is such a cute Valentine's palette, and I think that the color selection is stunning, and also, you know, the quality is there. I, I really like it. You have a really good matte red, which I kind of used as eyeliner today. 
this pink. I have this one in the crease. It's so pretty. I love it. And then this is the shimmer that I'm wearing. Gorgeous. But I mean, you've got kind of purpliness happening, red happening, a bit of orange and pink. It's actually a very, very well thought out palette in my opinion. I was really excited that I got this in PR and I think it's a really good palette. This is one that I have on my list to film a YouTube short with. Um, so hopefully I'll be doing that in the next week. If I have time, wish me luck. Another Sigma palette made it into this video and that is the Warm Neutrals. Now, I mean, when can you go wrong with a brown smoky eye? I mean, never. But also this one has this really pretty like red burgundy shade here and some mauvey purples. So this palette, it's got a lot of variety and I really like that about it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. This is like the perfect mauvey crease shade. And then you have this interesting shade here called Fool's Gold, which is kind of like... It's a smoky green, um, but it's really pretty. It's a very nice, like, khaki green shimmer. And so I like the Sigma formula. This one is, this is a good one. This would be, like, the perfect everyday palette um, if you're into these shades, obviously. But, yes, you could do Valentine's. You can do, you can do everyday. You can do whatever you want. I think this is a good one. All right, the Natasha Denona My Dream. This is definitely giving me, like, winter to spring vibes because you've got a lot of smoky shades but you've also got taupes you've got this pretty peach here you have the duo chrome this palette makes me excited for spring um these are the kind of colors i gravitate towards i admit like for me i don't wear a lot of like blue eyeshadow i do imagine like light blues for spring and i love green eyeshadow though but those i didn't include anything with that in here i went more for like the neutral mauves in this video obviously but that's just what i'm feeling right now and so that's what i picked um this is a good one i love it and that duochrome shade is so pretty i need to use that soon okay i want to swatch it just because now that i started swatching i'm in like a swatchy mood and i'm feeling it so there it is right there if you can see shifting from purple to green. I don't know. I didn't put that in a very good spot on my hand, but oh, there we go. I think you can see it. Anyway, that's a really, really good shimmer. And yeah, I love this palette. Okay. I can't talk about mauve tones without including the retro palette from Natasha Denona. Um, definitely one of my favorites from the brand. Uh, I have hip hand on this one, obviously. I really, really like it. What more can I say? You've got mauves, you've got burgundy, you've got this purple shimmer, you've got light pink shimmer. I think you get a lot of variety in this palette and it's a good one. And then you also get this like nice smoky shade here. And this is one of the cream to powders. This one has a bit of like a khaki green essence to it. It's mostly a brown, but there's just that hint of khaki in there. And I don't know, I really like it. This is this is one of the best. Like if you like these type of shades and you want to get just one Natasha Denona palette, this, this is definitely the one I would recommend. It's amazing. And then last up, we have this one from ColourPop, which I talked about this in a recent Ranking Palettes video. I was so pleasantly surprised. I'm not usually someone who goes for the larger mega palettes, but even though this is a large palette, it is well curated and smoke and roses is the perfect name for it because they've got the light pinks you've got some taupes you've got some like burgundy tones you've got some neutrals i think that some of my favorites in here are like the taupey shimmers are just so so nice this one here it's called i love um if i have anywhere left to swatch this one is so pretty on just like the inner corner here, like the first part of the lid. I love doing that. This one is such a nice taupe shade here. This is almost like the perfect taupey metallic, not a very good swatch, but if you can see it, there it is right there. This is a really good palette. I think 
you know, not all big palettes are bad. Not all of them are redundant. Sure, they probably could have left out a couple of these, but personally for me, this is a well curated palette, even though it's on the larger side. And it definitely sings springtime. So this is one I'm excited to use more. That is it for this video. Let us know what palettes and eyeshadow colors are you leaning towards this time of year. I am ready for spring and I have to say I really like my eye look today. I am ready for warmer weather and some fun makeup. And yeah, that is it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Check out some of my other videos that will be hopefully showing up on the screen here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.